is a lot of spiky death around here. It is super bright. So a couple of things going on today. I felt like in these crazy times of isolation and pandemics and all of that, I might try to make some more vlogs because at least fortunately, this is like my backyard, you know? And uh, for everyone who can't get out as much, I would like to offer some beauty. Another thing is I'm testing out some new gear and you, oh shoot, you know what I just realized? One of those pieces of gear is this guy. So this is the uh, moment, the new moment variable ND filter. And uh, I need to try that out because I am at F11, 1 60th of a second, 100, it's so bright, so bright. So let me get this on here and then we'll get figured out. Wow, that looks way better. F5.6, much better, much better. Okay, so as I was saying, this isn't, this vlog isn't gonna be about gear or filters or anything like that. I just happen to have that moment filter and, and uh, haven't tried it out yet. Also, the other thing we're testing out is what I'm using right now and that is the Canon EOS RP. So I finally broke down and bought a mirrorless camera and I did not get rid of my 1D or my 5D. I still have them, I still use them. Brittany is actually using the 5D right now because technically that's her camera and she's very happy with it. But I bought the RP, so as a vlogging camera and most importantly as a third time-lapse camera because the difference between this and the R is that the R does not have a full intervalometer built in and that was like as a third backup time-lapse camera, that is what I needed, that is what I wanted. So I went with the RP. It's also super light. So I'm testing it out, holding it, vlogging with it, see if my little uh, chicken arms can handle it. And I don't know if you guys can see where we are. I will insert B-roll. <laughs> but uh, we are in Southwest New Mexico on some public land. And there are a ton of flowers. Can you guys see Brittany way the hell back there? She is just like, all of these California poppies are everywhere and they're gorgeous so we're location scouting i'd like to do some stuff with uh astro but unfortunately the poppy flowers they they go away at night they go night nights so they don't stay out at night but i'm thinking at least if we could do some sunset stuff it'll be really pretty so i'm going to show you guys around here and uh we'll go from there be really careful where you walk out here. I don't want to step on these gorgeous flowers. Also don't want to impale myself on uh, any of the ridiculous cacti. I think we found some good stuff though. My god that's still bright. There. I do like having the uh, what you would call it the ease of use or the Range, Brittany, I can't talk right now. What is the word I'm looking for? Flexibility of, yeah, variability of the variable ND filter. <laughs> so normally I don't like variable ND filters because uh, they have like cross polarization and all that. And this does kind of suffer from that a little bit, but it's not too bad right now. And I'm at 16 millimeters, so I'm gonna keep testing it but I do like having the ease of use of being able to adjust it on the fly. It's pretty nice. All right, I'm gonna get some water, possibly some tea. I'm gonna take some uh, cactus thorns out of my boots and uh, my leg. And then we're gonna reconvene when the light is much, much better because it is absolutely brutal right now. Alright, 
took a little break back out here again to try out the uh, main reason why I bought this camera. That would be the time-lapse feature. So I'm going to try the 4K time-lapse movie mode. I don't normally do that because I shoot stock time-lapses for stock agencies and I like to shoot those regular time-lapses and then edit them in LR time-lapse and you have basically you have much more control that way and uh, this way I don't have as much control but the RP has three custom settings that are designed for different situations. So I'm gonna try that out. The clouds over here are looking really nice. So I'm gonna try that out. So let's get this set up and then I'll see you guys after the time lapse. All right, it's really windy. So sorry about the audio. I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. I got a really cool time lapse. I think I got a cool uh, couple of cool shots with a sun star right over the peak that I wanted. So it's not the most interesting light in the world, certainly not a sunset amazingness or anything, but I think the sun star might have worked out. The light on the mountains is real pretty, watching the golden hour light hit those cliffs. I don't think I got any birds, at least not any uh, usable or good shots. I got some white crown sparrows, which were pretty cool. I like seeing those guys. They're only around here in the winter time, actually. I saw some fox tracks, and there's a little fox diggy spot right there. So it'd be really cool to hang out here. I might actually go get the ghillie suit or a blind or something and come out here and just kind of stake out because there's a lot of wildlife tracks. These mountains right here, actually, there's uh, ibex in those mountains, and uh, I really would like to shoot them in the face. So. I might come out here and track them a little bit. You know, the beauty of southwestern New Mexico, aside from the wildlife and the amazing landscape and all that, is there's nobody out here. So, perfect place to practice uh, social isolationism, social distancing in kind of my backyard area. So, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Sorry I didn't really get anything amazing in terms of images or uh, informative, but uh, at least you got to, I just wanted to bring you guys out here in this time of craziness and chaos in case uh, you're cooped up inside. Hopefully you can live vicariously through me for a little bit. Yeah, white crown sparrows are all, oh, there it goes, right over my head. If you like wildlife, if uh, my talking about shooting birds in the face excited you, I've got a lot of bird stuff, so you should check out the wildlife playlist photography, wildlife, the wildlife photography playlist. Uh, a lot of good stuff there too. All right, it's tea time. It's dinner time, really hungry. Mexico is right there, I can see Mexico from here. Hi Mexico, really want tacos. I'm sure somebody said tacos earlier. I, it might've been me, but uh, I'm gonna go make some tacos. <laughs> wow, is that, is that, tan is that a sunburn? <laughs> I put sunscreen on earlier, but I didn't realize that, uh, yeah, I'm white, it's all right. All right, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I've got new videos every week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.